Hi chaps, I'm Lee Martin and welcome to uh, my setup debrief from the weekend. Obviously we had a very uh, wet weekend at Hearts, uh, dirt, oil track, so um, I just wanted to talk to you about, about a few of the changes we made uh, during the weekend and how we made our a Gamma A319 better, myself and the team were obviously there, Lewis, Kev, Charlie, Darren a lot, so um, here she is, she's fresh off the track, still a little bit dirty, it's had a bit of a, you know, a wash down, but it's not, uh, not too nothing crazy. First thing I'll talk about is the body, the visual body. Obviously this is the LMR full thrust body for the car and it just gave us more steering and uh, it makes it jump better. The jumps at hearts can be a bit of a nightmare if the wind gets up because um, the wind can get under the car and with this body it really helps to be able to get the nose down and it will fly through the air nice. It won't like pick up on the sides and catch a lot of wind, keeps it nice and stable. And then just the big cab, big front cab we've got going on, just gives it that little bit more steering. Um, generally we're looking for, especially on a, a wet slippy track where, where steering is key. Yeah. Rear end grip, we went to look for front. So instead of trying to make the car just balanced, we went for the full grip setup and just tried to find everything we could and then we try and dial in as much steering as we could to cope with it. So we run our normal four degree toe, so nothing different there. The difference is that I run compared to normal. We've shortened the arm on the hub. If you can see here, it's in the short position. The shorter rear arm just gives you more grip when you're coming out of the turn. So you can get on the throttle earlier, it will pull from the front and um, the rear end will stay where it is. It doesn't do this and start wallowing around so that was a good change. I advise anyone to change that, especially if they're struggling for rear end grip of their car. Moving on to the roll bar, I used a 2.5 roll bar on my car in the end. Lewis was a bit softer, um, but I like the car to kind of rotate in the corner. So 2.5 rear roll bar. Softest rear spring, the, the grey blue, although I've been using that quite a lot recently, even in the dry, so not massive amount to report there. 3000 weight diff oil. 3000 weight diff oil all round, to be fair, um, when it's wet. I like the wheels to be free when you're in the corner because if they're quite stiff, the car feels okay to drive, but when you get off the throttle and you start turning, it just doesn't really do much. Um, so I like my disc to be nice and free. So when I get off the throttle, get on the steering, the car will rotate nicely and then I can I can pull away. Same in the center, the center just helps where it's nice and low to give you that punch, that drive out of the corner without it just spinning up the wheels, you know, it kind of almost acts as a slipper. So moving towards the centre, that's pretty much it, that's all I did. Um, nothing much more to report there to be honest. What I will do, just before we move away, the drive line. So this is the first race, uh, I've actually run the underdrive in the rear. When you're coming out of the corner it pulls from the front, so again it, it, it tries to go straight. Um, it will give you a little bit more on power steering as well, because if you do have the wheels turned over, because they're going faster than the rear ones, it will kind of pull you where you want. And when you get off the gas, it almost rotates more because the wheels are slowing down at different rates. The front can be a little freer, and as you get into the turn, it the rear will rotate around it, and you can get on the gas earlier than what you think. I think that's the key. When Lewis put it in his car, um, I watched him do a few laps, and he just wasn't getting on the gas early enough for the overdrive to really take effect. Uh, you can just get on the gas that half a second earlier than what you normally would, and once you start trusting that's going to work, you're away. So then we're moving towards the front. So on the front end, like I said, we found grip with the rear with the suspension pin changes and the underdrive and all the stuff we did. You know, we've already got really good rear end grip anyway. The light diffs. And then we look for steering in the front. So on the front, the first thing we changed, I went to a long link, which I don't normally use at Hearts, um, but I do use at Nemo, so, you know, we're familiar with it. Um, so that gives you more steering out of the turn. Gives you a little less in, but it gives you more out. Uh, another nice thing we did, we moved the steering arm position to the inside, uh, to the outside, so it's more in the wheel. Um, this for me made the steering more linear. It gave you the same amount of steering through the turn, whereas where we'd normally run it, which is on the inside, so further away from the wheel, um, it can make it just feel like all the steering kind of comes at the end of the turn. Um, 
which is great for high bite sometimes because you know you don't want it to be too twitchy initially but i actually liked it being in that hole that came from the usa guys billy's been in running in that hole so that was good to test and it really worked today or at the weekend normal spring setup um i've been running yellow black very recently and it's still the same um roll bar so I started off with quite a light roll bar and ended up with no roll bar. So there's no roll bar on the front. It's actually there, but if you see here, it's not it's not connected to anything. So no roll bar on the front. Just gets the front to move around a lot. Dig the front in. Pitches on the front, which is what you want when it's wet because you don't want the tire to act as a paddle. You really want the weight to transfer onto it and get it to grip as a tire. Um, what else did we do? Kicks, pretty much the same as I normally run. I know Lewis reduced his kick a little bit. He said he liked it. Um, that helps it transfer less to the rear. So if he was getting too much dip on the rear when you're coming out of a corner, that could help. Um, yeah, the other, the only other biggest thing we did really was uh, really lightened up our shock oil. So normally we would run, um, depending on temperature, 450, 500, something like that, which is 40 or 50 in, in beta CST. And then we ended up down on, on 25 or 250 CST. So she was light and that really helped her to bring the car to life. Really got it going through the bumps and stuff really good. Um, got suspension moving fast and yeah, it was awesome. So there you go. That's her. That's pretty much all the changes we did on a nice quick thing. We'll put the setup sheet up. Uh, you guys can have a look. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my little debrief from the weekend.